What's up everybody, it's Patrick from Purple Park Studios. Welcome to another tutorial. Today we're going to be using a uh, Geonode setup to basically make a city generator um, which is useful for, you know, like flyby scenes or big shots or anything. You can use it for anything really. And uh, the stuff we're going to be doing in this tutorial you can apply to other concepts as well. So let's jump right in. So I'm here in Blender 3.2 and I'm just going to hit A and then X and delete everything in the scene and then shift A and I'm going to add in a plane and I'm going to go to my geometry nodes tab right here. Now maybe you're familiar with geometry nodes, maybe you're not. Um, I'm not really going to explain them in this tutorial um, but there's a lot of other great tutorials online if you're interested in really understanding what geometry nodes are. So the first thing I'm going to do is hit shift A and I'm going to add in a transform node. And I'm going to change a couple things with the scale down here. I'm going to make the X 5.7. I'm going to make Y 6.3. And then I'm going to make X 5.7. Or leave it on the default and it is 5.7. And I'm just using these numbers because I've actually made this city before. Um, when I was kind of figuring out how I was going to do this and these are just the numbers that I like to use but you can use any number you want it's just going to affect the scale of your city so next I'm going to hit shift A and I'm going to type in up here in the search subdivide and I'm going to look for subdivide mesh and I'm going to drop that in there and I'm going to change this to 4 that's just going to give us some more subdivisions on our plane there next I'm going to hit shift A and I'm going to type in look for a cube here because we're going to use, use some cubes and drop that in Alright, so we can actually disconnect this geometry from the mesh here, and we're going to need to grab a couple other nodes. We're going to need to grab a distribute points on faces and an instance on points. So let's hit Shift A, and we'll grab the instance on points. Drop that in here. And then hit Shift A, and distribute. If I can spell distribute points on faces, we'll also grab that node and just bring it in here. Okay, so now we have three nodes. We have our cube, we have our distribute points on faces, and we have our instance on points. So the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to grab uh, the subdivide mesh where it says mesh here, and we're going to connect that to the mesh of distribute faces on points, or distribute points on faces, sorry. Next, we're, I'm just going to move this down, move these over here. Next, we're going to grab the cube and drag the mesh into where it says instance and then we'll just connect these points with the points here and then finally we'll grab instances and connect it to our geometry and this is what you get here it's kind of a big mess but we're gonna fix it don't worry so move this up here like this and we're gonna need to get a couple more nodes here we're gonna hit shift A and we're gonna grab a random value random value node bring that down here and we're gonna need to grab two more nodes here we're gonna need shift a type in vector ve grab a vector math node bring this one down here and we're gonna change it from add to scale and we're gonna connect the and we're gonna connect the value into the vector here And then I'm actually just going to grab another vector node like that I just did there. Vector math, I'm sorry, vector math node. And this one we're going to leave it on add. We'll just connect the vector to this top vector up here. Oops. And then finally we can grab this here, the vector, and go into the scale. So we see we get some changes up here. Um, it's still not quite looking anything like a city it's I mean it's just kind of looks like a bunch of blocks all kind of smashed together um, so there's a couple things we can do to fix this first on your random value node down here I'm gonna go to where it says float and I'm gonna change that to vector and nothing happens because you actually have to reconnect these two here connect it like that and so we get a little more detail there but it's still starting to look messy uh, we're gonna need to scale these buildings up to different heights, uh, some random different heights here to kind of get it looking even more like a city. So what we can do is we can go to this 
vector math node here that says add and we can start playing with some of these values uh, I think I did 0.34 on this one and I think for the other two it was 0 and then I believe it was 2.6 so this is looking better but these are still really smashed together so what we can do to fix this is we can go I'm just gonna zoom out here we can go to our vector math node here the one that's set to uh, scale and we can actually just start playing with the scale here if you hold shift and drag it down start getting a little bit more spacing in there um, it's still quite not looking right so we might want to try playing with uh, some of these other values over here Let me go back to the scale. I'm going to go back to my layout here for a second and hit 1, hit A. Or actually another way, probably better way to do this would be to go back into your geo nodes. And if you go up here to transform, you can just hit 1. And then you can, on the z-axis, move it up. So there's one thing that we can do here to make this look even better and up here where it says distribute points on faces you can click left click and go to this option instead of the random and then you get a little bit more options here and you can see that some of the mesh here is intersecting with each other um, in order to fix this we can set the distance between objects so I'll try like 0.04 to start now you can see there's some spacing between every single one of the objects and then we get a couple more options here that we can play with as well uh, we can play with this density max if you want to make your city less dense and the density factor as well I kinda liked it like that looking a little bit more full and maybe this these cities maybe these buildings are just a little too high so maybe we'll bring those down just a little bit something more like realistic looking in scale something right about there so the one thing I'm noticing is that the height of all these buildings is roughly pretty similar and we want to fix that for sure so what in order to fix that you can go over here to this random value and write down here this uh, this one down here it doesn't say X Y and Z but I'm it's basically X, Y, and Z. Um, you can just start playing with the scale here of these and change some of these values. So now we get some variation in the height and that's looking a little bit better, looking more like a city. So I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you're interested in learning how to texture the city, um, let me know in the comments. I can do a whole tutorial on that. That's kind of a whole another topic uh, when, when it comes to working with geonodes and, and texturing things, especially something like this, like a city. Uh, so yeah, let me know in the comments if anyone knows like a better way to do this, a quicker way, uh, you know, a more efficient way. If there's something I missed, let me know. I'm always down to learn more. But I hope this, but I hope this tutorial was helpful in getting you started on making a big city with geonodes. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next tutorial.